Alright guys, it's the beginning of day two. It's literally like four o'clock in the morning. Um, this is the life of a hunter. If you guys want to become a hunter and stuff, this is part of the life, waking up super early, then going out to your spots, trying to beat beat the sun. But um, if you guys haven't already, go check out day one. We did some pretty cool stuff. But today we're gonna do a little bit more scouting and hunting and we'll find some stuff to do. It's a pretty good, good area out here, out by Cave Lake in Ely. But I'm not big old spider on me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Look at there he is. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> huh, interesting. And also, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We got some great stuff coming your way. All right, temperature 62 degrees. I think the coyotes are gonna be moving. We saw three yesterday while we'll glassing for some deer, so. Yeah, them coyotes are all around them cows. They're, they're chasing them around. They're trying to get an easy meal. So we're gonna try to go get a couple, see what happens. You gonna try to get a shot in, Kareem? No, I'm gonna try and shoot as many as I can. Look at that buck, three by three. He's limping. He can't move very fast. Coyotes are going to get him. All right, so the sun came up. And this is the area where we plan on hunting. It's about an hour and a half from camp. So the sun did come up a little bit before we got here. But it's still, it's still pretty early. We've seen about, about 15 deer. We're still glassing. Um, we just, we're out here to scout the bucks. And then we're going to go. Hopefully get a few coyotes. Hey, then, don't you need some leather? Look at, there's a nice piece of leather right there. There's some good looking leather right here too. Yeah, there's a couple out in the field, Adrian. I got them on cam. There's a whole bunch of new deer, Dad. In between that blue thing uh -huh. and that shack. Closer towards the shack. Oh, okay, any bucks? Can't tell. I'm like those things. Yeah, they're little dudes. All right. Let's get. So you're done scouting? Uh, sun came up, all the deer already left the fields. We glass three coyotes up. It's time to get to calling. Let's go try to get some coyotes. Oh, my God. Let's go over this hill. So we sat in this spot for about 15 minutes. We just weren't feeling it. You guys ready to move on? Yep. We got to go to that spot. This one spot we saw like six or seven in two nights. So, glass. I don't know. All right, let's go check it out. Might it up. It's still fun to get out here. We haven't called coyotes in how long? It's been about it's been, six months. Yeah. It's been a while. The last one was in like January. So it's been we, a yeah, we usually don't call during the summer because their pelts look horrible. But we saw a few out here and they looked pretty nice. So, you know, yeah, it's already getting cold up here. So we wouldn't mind taking one. So we just checked out uh, some of my hunting areas I plan to hunt and uh, we kind of scouted it out and a little bit glassed up some stuff. And um, we didn't see anything really big. We saw a three by three, uh, nothing really big yet. So. We're still gonna do a little bit more scouting and stuff in come hunting season. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check it out, but we're leaving a little bit early. We think that these big bucks might be moving uh, right when the sun's going down. So like right when it's dark, that's what they were doing last year and getting up early and leaving the field. So if we're gonna see them, 
We probably got to get out in the morning, but I don't know. But we saw a bunch of bucks, just nothing super big. So uh, we're actually heading back to camp right now. We're going to check the crawdad traps and then uh, call it a day. So let's go check them. I'll pull this one. All right, Adrian set up some traps. How many do you think you got? Uh, me and Cadell agreed about 60, so that makes about 10 each. So let's see what we get. Six traps, 10 traps each. Let's right, see. 10, 10 crawdads each. I don't know how many this one's going to have. Cause There's all the bubbles. There's a couple. This one don't have a lot, but one, two. Two. Did they eat all the chicken? Three. They ate all the chicken. Damn, no there's... way. They pulled it out. They must have pulled it out because there's no way we only got three. Yeah. They pulled it out. It was a nice one, though. They must have pulled it out. There's no way we got three. Oh, there's a bass in here. A bass? Yeah. Where? Right there. There's a pretty big bass. I know what you Yeah, definitely a bass. Someone might go bass in? What, let me see. I didn't know there was bass in there. Really? Yeah, yeah he, he was right here. Look how nice this looks. I'm not seeing any yet. This is crazy. It feels good out here. Now it's cooling off like 65 degrees. Somewhere right here. So second trap is right here somewhere. It's Let's see how good a luck Cadell is. And this one he threw too. Is it not looking fat? Oh. It's looking good. Oh, for real? Well, that one's looking good. Oh, oh. oh I think nice. we got the 17 to make up for. Maybe. Because we called 10 in each truck. So we need 17 to make up. Nah, that ain't. No, it's probably like 10. It's I mean, this like is 10. seven, this is 20 to cut the freaking crawfish that I was catching. Like, size-wise. Yeah. Kind of. We got one, one two, two, three, four, one. five, six, seven. So we got eight in that trap. Well, we're a little short of our predictions. Is there more bait for them? I can see a rope right there. That's impossible to get. We gotta hook it with the fishing line. I'll pull this one in the meanwhile. This is one Cadell threw. Can't see no crawls in there. There's still bait in there though. <laughs> Your oh. brother's real just goofed. That's all right. I got one. <laughs> this is a trap that was too far out. Go ahead and grab it, Ader. I just want to hook it. Hey, you want to pull this one in? Yeah. Um, it has a couple on it. There's a pebble here. There's a eye and a really good clean bunch. Oh, yeah, there's some big ones. We're going to set the traps back up around here since they both got bait. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some big ones. Perfect. That's a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's not bad. All right, open her up. Let's get out of here. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's some. There's quite a bit. Holy cow. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. You got Dang, your 10. That's a nice one. You got your 10 here. Holy. Cadell, come oh look at these ones. Oh, my gosh. The size. Alright, get them out. These are lobsters. And they're still bait, too. A lot of bait. Lobsters. Here, Dang. Trying to get away. The beast. Let me see. Whoa. Man, he almost turned and hooked you. I know. Yeah. Here, I'm going to throw him up right here. Let me I'm see. I'm going to throw him in the net. Right, they're trying right. to get away. That one is tripping. All right, guys. Um, We just wrapped up collecting our crawdad traps and stuff. We got like a little, we got like about around 30 to 40 crawdads. That's, that's pretty good, honestly, for six traps. And um, so it's getting late. We saw some deer right here by the lake, too, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna probably be back out here trying to catch fish and crawdads and all that stuff. 
But other than that, we're probably going to also do a night trip or something trying to catch crawdads. But we're going to have a big crawdad uh, fest. And I want at least 100 because there's six of us. But we'll see what happens. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you outdoors.